Good morning guys. So today we're going to go over the exact specifications of the Beck G3 that I have. And you know we'll go over weight, balance point, things like that. These are questions that I had whenever I was first started seriously looking at uh, purchasing a Beck. I was really curious on you know how much does it weigh and how long is the blade and things like that especially with the new uh, generation 3 that was coming out so anyway let's get into it okay first off we're gonna go with the weight got my little scale on here make sure it's in ounces this will be the weight for the Beck G3 the only addition to this is a little wooden bead that I made and a little bit of paracord. So let's go ahead and put that down right there. 22.68. I'm going to scoot over this way a little bit to make sure nothing's touching. 22.65. I'm going to do it one more time. 22 ounces and 0.65 so a little over uh, 22 and a half ounces okay so the balance point is just below his name just into the micarta a little bit it's right around in this general area but you can't quite get your finger just on it so right there is the balance point of the knife now let's go into blade length I'm going to slide uh, with my ruler here I'm going to run it all the way down to the micarta and we are looking at Sure, this is all level. That is just over or just shy of seven inches. Now let's look at this first section and kind of get an idea on the fine cutting edge. Before it goes up into the curve right very close to two and a half inches to the point just a tad over two and a half just a touch over four inches And also, let's run it this way. So there's, we'll see what the cutting surface is. There's one inch, two inch, three inch, four inch, just a tad over five. One more time. Two, three, four, and just over five. Right at one quarter of an inch. The saw teeth, there are 11, and you're looking at 3 inches on the saw teeth. The saber grind that he does, I'm going to put a, a 2 right there, and you can kind of see almost... It's just shy of three quarters of an inch on that saber grind. The handle from the end of the micarta to the point, five, it's a little over five and three quarter inches just shy of six inches from point to point.
point. Let me see if I can get that up there just a little bit. It's just shy of six inches where that little thump, that little part comes out. The one thing that I noticed first off when I picked up the knife, it is wider from here to here, top to bottom, than other knives I'd owned. Uh, the ceramic companion knife was the same way. And we'll just grab on this part here, looking at just a tad over an inch and a quarter in the finger groove. And down here, just under an inch, inch and a quarter. Um, while the spine was a quarter of an inch thick here, he starts his taper, and the taper, if I can get that to come in alright for you guys, yeah, it's just two ticks, so half of a quarter, an eighth of an inch. Um, width of the scales just shy of an inch right there and that was like I said that was the thing I noticed it's thicker than what I was used to and now that I've had several months to play around with it I really enjoy that there is just no way of getting a hot spot on this knife. Um, like whenever you're uh, sawing and you're you're doing that notching, I'll lock my thumb in like this. It holds in great. Um, for close-up work, normal or chopping, it, I've never had a, a callus build up or anything like that or a hot spot I should say build up. My hands already got calluses. And like I said, the balance is just right there. The steel he uses is 01. Um, he does an in-house heat treat, and it's a differential, so which means different parts of the blade are going to be hard, different parts of the blade are going to be soft. Um, I'm assuming the saw teeth are hard. I'm sure that the edge is hard. And I'm guessing that it's going to soften up as it goes back, but I don't know that for sure. My guess would also be that this area here is going to be softer. Just to handle the batoning, because that's what that's for. This is somewhat uh, tapered or rounded, I should say. So there's no hot spot when your thumb's up here at all. The same right here on this section. Um, and you can look, it's a really nice, strong point. I'm going to try, I don't know if I can show you guys this or not, the edge. So he has the saber grind that comes off here, and then there's the final edge. Now, mine I did off for the liners. The red liners, which I think look nice. He uses, uh, I can't think of the name of the bolts. I'll put it on the screen, but basically it's a, it's a screwed in system so that <laughs> it's never coming off. And that is pretty much it for the specs. Try to let you guys get a good look at it. I hope anybody out there who's curious about you know the actual specs on uh, Mr. Beck's blades on the WSK this kinda helps you out a little bit because I know when I started looking in on it I had a thousand questions now I should note that on his website, Mr. Beck says to use like a hard Arkansas stone for sharpening. 
uh, leather and green rouge. He also in correspondence told me that a uh, ceramic rod would be fine. So that's pretty much the only thing I've done to sharpen this knife. It came sharp. I've touched it up with ceramic rod, leather, and green rouge. Um, it really just doesn't dull very much. Um, so I haven't done a in-depth sharpening. Just a touch up here and there, and I just plan on keep on doing that. But it's very, and you can see, nice small little curls with it tops the same way very very sharp um, it's kind of awkward to do the quarter round like this but I'll try quarter rounds nice and sharp and this the round ceramic stone the ceramic rod has been very handy of getting up in here. Let me show you what else I use. So for sharpening, I use this ceramic rod that uh, a buddy of mine on Bushcraft sent me, Bushcraft USA Army Mace. It works great. And then I made <laughs> this kind of conflagration. It's a uh, wooden block, a section of broken black Arkansas stone, leather glued to the top with green rouge, and you can see here one side is rounded. And what that's for when dealing with uh, the WSK or tracker style blade get that off there. When you're stropping you can get up into the curve both sides hopefully you guys can see that so I'll use that to polish it up the round ceramic rod works great for getting up into that curve but I really just have not needed to sharpen this very much it's held its edge fantastic and I really want to try to maintain the grind that uh, Mr. Beck put on it as much as I can just for the life of the blade Okay guys, so in one, the first video I put out was the unboxing of the Beck, the day I got it. The next video was everything that came with it, all the different parts of the version 2 sheath that came with the WSK and the Ceranic. And then I just put out the other video yesterday on basically the history that I could find. Um, what I could obtain off of the net and today you got to see everything there is about the specs on this knife I think so if I missed anything if you guys have any other questions let me know um, the next set of videos is going to be the Beck in or the WSK in use um, just different grips different holds how effective it is the saw, things like that. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. Take care. If you have any questions or comments, put them down below.